Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models, and welcome to issue 69, stage 69, of building the Ecto-1. In this issue, we start on the main big whole body thing. Look at this. Look, that's only a chunk of it, and it's already bigger than the bench. It's ridiculous. We've got to play with some electricity and uh, some big things with this as well. Uh, so, starting off, the first thing we need to do is to prep this part for the stuff we're going to be doing with it. Um, so I need to remove the safety supports from under here. Basically these two bits that I'm holding on to uh, need to come off. Uh, now, does it really need to come off? That's the real question. Because it might be no idea to keep them on. Stop it. It's not going to get distorted. Now, it might get distorted in traveling. But it's not going to be doing any traveling. So, no, I shall remove the four screws from this with a smaller screwdriver than that. One like that will be lovely. There we go. So, one screw on each corner will come out in a minute. And that one over there. well there we go uh, I'll, I keep these but I've never yet needed to use them for anything but it's a little you know metal bar that is quite nice and the screws you never know you might need for something so it's worth keeping hold of in my opinion your opinion may vary uh, so let's get that one and this one removed from there Apologies, this is off camera, but it's the size of the thing. It's uh, it makes being on camera somewhat trickier. So that's that one, and the last screw at the top there, which I'll take that out of the way in just a second. Undo the screw. Come on, out you come. Almost there. There we go. So that's that now removed. Uh, then we need to bring in, if I don't drop the uh, instructions, uh, the frame from last time that we were building, the, the black bit. This goes on the front there. Like so. Just like so, in fact. Uh, and needs to be held in place with several screws. We've got a couple that go in from the sides. Uh, actually, just a couple that go in from the sides. LM screws on the sides of that. Uh, and then we get to have some different fun. So let's uh, let's find screws supplied in this one. PP? No, I don't want PP. LM. That would do us. Quite a few of those in there, but we're only using a couple. It's a bit, uh, a little strange, unless I, I haven't really skipped ahead to see what's happening next. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We've got a couple of interesting parts, little wires, and uh, other brackets to play with momentarily. So let's see. These are going to go in one there. And one on the other side in exactly the same place. Strange. They're not overly big screws to be doing such an important job. Thanks, I don't know that I've got that right. I had it slightly bent, which wouldn't be ideal. That needs to go through there into the main white frame that I'm actually not actually screwing it into for some reason. That one might be no, that wasn't either. Uh, right, I need to work on why that isn't working, uh, and when I get that attached, I'll show you what it looks like. But then we're starting on another fun piece from the past. 
Okay, before we move on, I will point out there were three screws in there, one in the middle and one either end that I just ignored from the instructions, but now have them in there. So five screws are holding that in place, which is pretty secure after all. So uh, yeah, fairly happy with that. So let's move that out of the way for now, because next we're going back to issue one, two-ish, uh, with the uh, headlights. Uh, we've got to take some apart and then put some back together again. Uh, what we have to do is remove three screws that are holding the front bit with these um, the two little bulbs on there. Oh, they're the bulbs, they're not actually bulbs, are they? Uh, need to remove these three screws from there, which I can't get that one working. Why is that one not working? It's my screwdriver really knackered. Yeah, this is my very old, quite knackered screwdriver back from issue one of the Enterprise, which was lovely, but uh, has been used quite a lot over the years. So it's starting to wear a lot. So uh, yeah, I shall I keep meaning to retire it, but I can't bring myself to actually throw it out. So I put it away and then end up pulling it out again anyway. Uh, right, so I'm taking these off. But then I'm going to be adding them back in. Uh, yeah, using these. Although I've only got two of them. Should I have two or three of them? Should I have three of them? I should have three of them, but I've only got two. That's interesting. Uh, that's how it was in the pack. I'm not too concerned. But, um, yeah. I'm going to not use the middle one, I think. That's probably the best bet, because obviously I haven't got a middle one. So I'm not going to undo that middle screw. Uh, we're replacing that screw with the longer EP variant. Uh, of which I'm going to need, well, just the two now, I think. Could be wrong. Let me just glance ahead. Uh, no, need more than that because I've got to put the uh, spring pieces in as well. Right, so we need bulbs. There's the two bulbs I've unplugged. Now, the instructions weren't very helpful with the bulbs. They just give you the part number, not the label code. So it's O and P, uh, which you need to unplug and then wire up. And it gives the impression that they're sort of joined up right until the end, but they're obviously not. So these are going into the headlights. You remember the headlights, we fitted them, you know, way way back when. It would be like, you know, two years ago now or more. I don't know exactly when it was. But they just push into place there. Like that. So the head headlights will in fact light up when the time comes. So that screw that I took out from that front bracket, I'm going to replace now with this one. With this uh, clip bracket which will hold the wires securely so if I can get that in there get it in there first and then get the wires in is usually the best way of doing it it says not even being able to get it in there without the wires there we go should be in and maybe not tightened up yet but so the wires are going to run Along there, are they going to run along this ridge? Not really, no, they just sort of run along next to it. You're not going to be able to see them on the inside anyway, so it's fine. So that is that one done. Not the main place, I should think. Might not, I think, you know, I've got it trapped under there, but not under the right place. So let's move that out from there again, undo that. That wire untrapped. Oh, don't break anything. Pushing wires is never a good idea. It might cause problems down the line with them shorting out and causing trouble. And I'll forget that I had trouble. 
and we'll see exactly what's going to happen. So let's try that again. That one under there, three, and that one under there as well. Three. Tighten it all up and see if they are still there. Yeah, that's better. They're under there now, out the way. So that would be held in place there, but isn't going to be now. And I'll put the other screw bracket in there as well to get that in. But as well as doing the other bulbs, the other side. Uh, oh, before I put that in. Oh, all right. No. Uh, right. So the spring bits, the crossbars, have got to go across. That's what they do. Uh, they are not shaped in any way but one's going to go from there under that screw not sure where the other end of it goes uh it on there just across the top maybe uh getting the steel wires right begin by putting the screw through the hooped end of the steel wire into the wire cover e uh, repeat with the second steel wire and wire cover B. Doesn't really show where the other end of the wires go. They're just sort of sticking up in the next picture. And then it says install the next headlight. Okay, so that just sort of goes in there and sticks up there a bit like that. I don't know. I don't know exactly where it's going to go. Right, let me figure out how these wires are going to fit in. Put the other bracket in, put the other bulbs in, uh, and figure out where the other end of these wires are going to end up. So I shall see you in just a sec. Right, there we have it. Um, all back together, except for the, uh, the one bracket in there. I will see how it looks. I might need to come up with a little something. I might just, a little dab of glue will hold that in place in there. It's not worth... Um, getting a replacement part for that. So I might just add a little touch of glue to hold those together there. Uh, but that's the other bulbs put in as well. All the wires coming off over there, ready to be plugged back in. They're the same length now, so that's good. Uh, so that is that. These are just sitting up there for some reason, for something at the moment. I don't know why, I don't know what, but that's what they are. Uh, so that is that. Um, the bulbs, oh, there's no more bulbs in there. The bottom ones are fake bulbs, uh, as are these pretty sorry or anything so it's only the headlights that are lighting up which are fine that's all i need uh so that is that um and that was obviously the body complete as well so uh yeah thank you very much for watching i'll see you very soon for the next and final part of this uh delivery and uh stay safe see you soon bye bye for now